Namo Buddhaya Dear friends in Dhamma It is a great pleasure for me to share some thoughts about meditation with you Meditation is well known as mindfulness in the West We can use meditation to become more positive and productive person Meditation is very useful tool for the children You can do meditation like playing games. It's a lot of fun. There are so many g- games like meditation techniques. Come with me. I'll teach you. The benefits of meditation as follows. It will reduce restlessness of the children. Meditation can increase memory power and level of concentration. It is good for Uh, good behavioral changes in the children examinations exports a new study suggests that mindfulness in education there are lessons and techniques to calm the mind and the body mindfulness can reduce negative effects of stress and increase the students ability to stay engaged helping them stay track academically and avoid behavior problems scholarly research finds that mindfulness practice decreases the stress and anxiety increases the attention improves the interpersonal relationships strengthens the greater self compassion and confers host of other benefits Mindfulness can be applied for whatever you are doing in day to day life whatever you are eating walking talking cleaning working sitting in the class etc mindfulness is a choice you can make it at any moment mindfulness can help you better understand how you feel what you are experiencing it is about being in the present moment instead of replaying in the past or worrying about the future mindful awareness is being aware with kindness it is about being engaged with everyday life choosing to be nice to oneself and others in the present moment and bring open awareness to all moments whether those moments are pleasant neutral or even may be unpleasant bringing that awareness curiosity and kindness instead of judgments and criticism you may be surprised that you will learn if you are curious or kind this does not mean you are meditating you are paying attention on purpose this can help with the stress anxiety and it helps you focus what is happening right now in your mind because worrying about future or past can be exhausting practicing paying attention in kind way to a little things can help you train your mind can develop more ease in your mind across your life Here is the ways to practice mindfulness in everyday life. Right now you may be sitting on a chair watching this video. How do you feel the phone on your hand? What type of the what part of the hand is uh phone touching? Is your phone hot or warm? May be cool. Are you sitting down? What parts of your body being supported by the chair? If you are standing can you feel which part of your feet connected to the ground aware you are placing of the weight of the body touching sensation of the body any action can be made mindfulness by being aware or maybe you are talking with someone instead of listening to them you can give an answer listen deeply with goal of understanding them better even this small change but it will make a big difference in your communication the trick is not automatically react to what you are paying attention just notice 
body sensations and emotions come up and notice your reactions and judgment because there will be judgment just try not to judge yourself how judgment uh, you might be there is no right or wrong just noticing what is happening what is happening around you or what is happening inside of you anything just be there you can practice this type of mindfulness any time anywhere under any situation this is a meditation program i conducted in indonesia for youth group in buddhist school apa sadana ha okay this is a meditation program i conducted in indonesia for youth group in buddhist school if you want to experience calmness try to attend meditation sessions with me you are more than welcome there are special meditation sessions especially program and designed for children namo buddhaya and and